Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, channel. And today, while I was at the Home Depot, I found this um, Venus uh, fly fly trap. So I bought, it. and I'm gonna show show you guys how you can actually buy a plant like this from your big box stores and not uh, kill it. But but first, let's see why I've uh, peaked people off and uh, kill it. Because it, it says here, I lure bugs into my open jaws. I snap them, them shut and die. Just a delicious meal. I grow best in spang and moist sphagnum or peat moss. That part is true. And I like my, my home bright but not sunny. Bring me inside if it gets chilly. Bring bring it in inside is is the pro problem here because because these plants are from North and South Carolina. They can handle a, f a frost, a, a light frost. If any of my traps turn turn brown, cut them off and I'll grow more. That part is partially true, but wait till they turn co completely brown, then cut them off. But of, um, these these guys are more often than than, than, than not um, left inside these uh, death death cubes, and that's where the problem lies. These these plants are these plants are from the Car Carolinas, like I said, and they like it to and they uh, like to be they like the uh, humidity, but not but but not too too uh, humidity. But but first, you need to get these guys out of the uh, death death cube itself. Since I don't have a tripod to uh, hold this phone, phone I'm going to have to have to uh, hold the phone while I'm of um, while I'm um, getting this guy guy out of here, making sure I don't cut cut off any of his uh, uh, traps. Since I, I'm surprised that the Home Depot had these guys in the in December, because that around this this time these guys will be going dormant. However, if you guys have see your fly fly, if you guys happen to have fly traps at home and, and they're not really growing, don't don't think think the plant is dead be, because it's not. It's just resting. That's uh, all it's doing. And, and more often than than, than not, if pe people are not not aware, they'll they'll just toss their plants outside. I mean, they'll just toss them out, thinking their their plants are dead. It's really hard to get these guys out of here some, sometimes because they're so packaged so well in, in here. I understand it protects them during shipping, but. There we go. There's our little plant. <clears throat> these, these, it, it's in very, it's in very good uh, condition. However, if you happen to see any, be because it is uh, December, and if your plant stays stays closed after catch catching a meal, and if it uh, stays closed like that for for a while, then of um, it's gonna be a door dormant. But don't fret if it's. The trap's going to die during, might probably die during uh, dormancy, and that's normal. However, I do see that this guy is very thirsty, and he needs, needs to be, uh, needs a little drink, drink of water. And I, what I have here is, dis, is distilled water. You do not give these guys tap water, like I said, because that the tap water is going to harm is going to have, um, harm the plant itself because these guys grow in such new nutrient poor soils and if you give them water from from your tap without testing it and, and if it is hard hard water it'll burn the roots of your plant and kill it I do have a video on the uh, care about Venus about uh, Venus fly, fly fly traps. If you want to check that out, of course, there's other places. If you don't like my explanations, and just use a tray tray method. All my 
most of my Venus flag traps are Home Deep Depot Death Death Cube res rescues. And so later this either this year or maybe even in early spring, I'm going to be doing a a mini bog. That's what I've been wanting to uh, do, but I've been waiting till the plants, till my North American plants go uh, dormant, because that is the best time to do any real transplanting if you need need to. Of um, of um, you all with when it comes to carnivorous plants and ones that that go dormant in winter, if you have if you want to transplant them, the best time to do it is when they're dormant, not when they're actively growing, because uh, you can put the plants in the shock. And you can actually uh, kill the plants themselves. And so, if um, when they awaken up, I mean, when they're growing, sea season starts 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 up again. They'll also start to wake wake up and start to adjust to to their new environments a lot better. And if it, if you happen to like this video, give give it a thumbs up and sub subscribe to to my channel. Until next time, I. I also plan on doing a video about about the uh, different kinds of soils that that you use for the uh, various carnivorous plants until next time